Hello, welcome once again to our channel today. We are answering the question, what are cysts? Cysts are fluid-filled sacs that surround the ovaries. They may be on top of the ovaries or they may be inside the ovaries. These sacs or these cysts tend to grow on themselves. They could also be due to some other causes. What are signs of cysts? The commonest signs of cysts include lower abdominal pain. There's pain when you are having sexual intercourse with your partner. There's also pain that radiates to the back. The other thing we need to talk about with cysts is that when you are talking about the pain that is brought about by the cysts, normally this pain is sharp and normally it actually radiates to the back as we said but this pain is so sharp and it is intense it is more pronounced on that area where the cyst is located so if the cyst is located on the left side of your pelvic region then the pain will be very very serious on that particular part next question is how can you identify or how can you tell that you have a, a, a cyst you have an ovarian cyst or you have a cyst in your uterus the most easiest way to tell that you have a cyst or to confirm that you could be having a cyst is you do what we call an ultrasound scan you have an ultrasound scan specifically a pelvic ultrasound scan or even an obstetric ultrasound scan in case you are pregnant now on the ultrasound scan, the cyst will be identified and even the location where it is located, uh, the, where it is located specifically, it will be also put on the report, plus the measurements of the cyst. Any cyst that is beyond 5 centimeters normally might need further management in hospital, but cysts that are below 5 centimeters in a in their diameter they may actually be managed locally you can even manage this at home the home based remedies include you could actually get castor oil and then you put it in warm water and then you put in a towel and then you apply on that particular part where you are feeling the pain where the cyst is located you could also consider using some garlic you get two cloves one or two cloves of garlic put in warm water or in in warm water and then you take one cup every day for saturdays and then you repeat the ultrasound scan normally this has medicinal effects on bringing and down bringing down the, 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 the cyst the other thing we need to note is that ultrasound scan is not the only test that can be done you can also do an MRI that is a magnetic resonance imaging scan depending on the country where you're located so our next question is this what are we supposed to do in case you discover that you could be having a cyst if uh, a woman has had an ultrasound scan and confirmation has been made that you could be having that you are having a cyst or you are having an ovarian cyst we need to understand some brief details on how these cysts work i mean how, how these cysts form and how many types of cysts are there we have specifically three big major types of cysts we have the follicular functional cysts or simply we can call them the functional cysts and then we have the neoplastic cysts and then we have those malignant cysts so specifically the commonest commonest types of cysts include the follicular functional cysts which happen due to changes in the cyclical levels of your hormones if at all a woman's hormones are being affected or they are changing gradually more specifically if a woman has what we call a pituitary uh, if a woman has what we call a hypothalamus pituitary ovarian axis dysfunction then there's going to be changes in her production of the hormones that are responsible for group for, 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 for the proper ovulation and for the proper regulation of her menstrual cycle so you realize that in the brain there's that part that is called the anterior pituitary gland and then the hypothalamus the hypothalamus is responsible the hypothalamus is responsible for production of hormones for, for production of a hormone called the gonadotropin releasing hormone so specifically this gonadotropin releasing hormone acts on the anterior pituitary gland producing the two hormones which are called the gonadotropins these include the follicle stimulating hormone and they also include the luteinizing hormone 
the follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone abbreviated as FSH and LH travel through your bloodstream up to the ovaries and when they reach the ovaries the follicle stimulating hormone acts on the granulosa cells and then the luteinizing hormone acts on the thicker cells producing consecutively follicle stimulating hormone for, uh, leads to the production of estrogen and then the luteinizing hormone leads to the production of progesterone now if at all this ax this axis or this mechanism Remember we talked about the hypothalamus acting on the pituitary gland, pituitary gland acting on the ovaries and then ovaries bringing about the estrogen and of course the progesterone. If this whole mechanism is dysfunctioning, if it is not working as it's supposed to work, then instead of these ovaries, these mature follicles, the graphene follicles, instead of going through the whole stage of uh, ovulation, they tend to actually not release the mature eggs and they tend to grow forming these big swellings also known as cysts and when they when they are many in number they are called polycystic ovarian syndrome so uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome the number one cause is a dysfunction in the hypothalamus pituitary ovarian axis uh, mechanism so always it's very important to have yourself checked you should have an ultrasound scan done and then of course if at all the ultrasound scan has been done and confirmation has been made that you are having polycystic ovarian syndrome or you are having a dermoid cyst or a simple follicular cyst always discuss with your gynecologist or your doctor your specialist and the most appropriate type of treatment will be given but remember always life lifestyle modification is very important you should always keep yourself on uh, diets that are not rich in oily foods and uh, saturated fats you should always go for green leafy vegetables you should always opt for foods that are not very high in in oils and then the other thing you should also keep down the consumption of cow's milk because it contains lots of estrogen from cows and normally when you are having issues with estrogen and you are adding estrogen from dairy products then it may not be really good let me know if you have any questions for me down below in the comments ask all your questions i will be able to answer them and it's really so good that we shall have a discussion down in the comments and then remember remember to share this video with all our friends out there those who might need to hear this information and those who could be having issues with cysts and of course any other related women's health Jared Massa, the health educator, is the name is the name of the channel. Have yourself a fantastic and healthy day. Bye bye and God bless you.